Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word makes it easy to create a table of contents for formal papers or longer documents. The process is fairly simple and straightforward. First, you must mark each title that you want to have appear in your table of contents with one of the designated styles that are available in Word, such as Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3, and so on and so forth. You can then have Word automatically collect and display a table of contents based on the text that you have selected. Word will also update and maintain this information should you make editing changes after the table of contents has been created. This can save you hours of revision time when working with long documents. First you must mark the titles in your document with one of the heading styles listed in the Styles section of the Home tab of the ribbon. Note that you can also simply select the text that you want to include in your table of contents and then click the Add Text button that appears in the Table of Contents group on the References tab in the ribbon and then select which of the heading styles to apply from the listing of styles displayed in this button's drop-down menu. So start by going through the document and selecting the major or primary section titles. Apply the Heading 1 style to these main titles. Now these will appear within your table of contents as the main chapter titles. Next, find the subordinate titles within each primary chapter and apply the Heading 2 style to these sections. If you have subordinate lessons within these sections, you can even select those titles and apply the Heading 3 style to them. Now once you've applied your heading styles to the titles in your document, it is then very easy to create a table of contents based on your selections. Start by clicking into your document in order to place the insertion point where you want your table of contents to appear. Then click the Table of Contents button that appears in the Table of Contents group on the References tab within the ribbon. Then select the Insert Table of Contents command from the button's drop-down menu in order to open the Table of Contents dialog box. Here's where you can select the style and appearance of your Table of Contents. At the top of this tab you can see how your Table of Contents will print in the Print Preview section. Below that you have options for changing the appearance of the printed version of your Table of Contents. If you don't want to print page numbers, then click the Show Page Numbers checkbox in order to clear the check from the box. Also, page numbers, if selected, will default to being right aligned. You can clear the check from the Right Aligned Page Numbers checkbox in order to print the page number immediately after the chapter title if desired. You can then select the desired style of leader tab to connect the chapter titles to the page numbers from the tab leader dropdown. You can also see how your table of contents would appear if published as a web page in the web preview section. If you do not want the titles to appear as hyperlinks in the web page, then you can clear the check from the Use Hyperlinks Instead of Page Numbers checkbox. Now in the General section, you can alter the general settings of the Table of Contents. 
You can select a different general format for your table of contents by choosing a different choice from the formats dropdown. If you need to display more than three levels within your table of contents, you can use the Show Levels spinner box to enter the number of subordinated levels to display within your table of contents. Note, however, that in addition to changing the levels to display in the table of contents here, you will also need to format those titles within your document using the additional subordinate heading styles such as Heading 4, Heading 5, and so on before they will appear in your table of contents. Now once you have set all of the options for your table of contents, simply click the OK button to insert your table of contents. Note that the table of contents is simply a field, and like all fields, you can toggle the display of the field code between the actual table's content and the field's contents by clicking into the table of contents and then pressing Shift plus F9 on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.